You don't even deserve. Oh, guys. Nice. Hey, soulmate. I'm Yeti. So it's been a really long time since I discovered G Idol, and they're one of the groups that I want to like explore learn a lot more about so you're going to see a lot more videos about them let me know below what type of things you think or you'd like me to do you'd like me to see uh so that i can get a sense of who they are as a group i felt like even in the first few songs from the discovery you can see uh, a depth to them in terms of their uh, like their messaging and their storytelling that's what it is they're very good storytellers uh, they're very good at like presenting uh, characters, all that type of stuff. Uh, but they're also incredibly fierce. <laughs> so fierce. Um, <laughs> I don't know where my where my voice went so high at that point, but they're so fierce, and I'm taken aback by a lot of that at times. So I want to just I'm curious. I want to discover more about them. I am going to see them in a few weeks in Frankfurt at K-Pop Flex. If you want to hang out with me like the day before, uh, let me know. I've got the link below where you can kind of register your interest or just hang out, maybe have some food and uh, get excited about tomorrow or like <laughs> like then it will be tomorrow. Now it's in a few weeks. Oh, I'm so weird. that they're twerking in this song i think i checked the lyrics last time and it was just very much like a uh like full rapper song of talking about their swag their abilities kind of boasting slightly uh it just felt like that type of song so the fact that they're twerking as well which is basically a symbol of not being controlled and just you know being totally bold and also kind of taking on some level of sexual uh, your own sexuality and your own uh identity as well so that's really interesting to to see that they've they've matched that together <laughs> is it all of them come on come on even sticking her tongue out And she's holding her crotch. Do you know what's interesting? Oh, it's like she's even. Oh. <laughs> she's so tense. And not only is she twerking, she like is holding her crotch. She pulls down her her cap as if like you don't even deserve. You don't deserve to see her eyes. Okay. <laughs> she's just. She's so incredible. I love your voice. I do. I do. Yeah. And I love your expressions. Oh, this choreo. Oh. I'm struggling. She's like barely moving, but commanding so much energy on her the people the dancers around her incredible doing all kinds of stuff and she i mean she feels almost like ethereal here like she doesn't need to do much but you you're gonna focus on her and it's interesting the contrast because uh, the first girl is doing all kinds of stuff and we're just getting like attacked and impacted and the second girl isn't moving much but again <laughs> still getting attacked and impacted is it's just pretty mad and then um oh. i love her tone oh is her the raps Oh, that draw level. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm on this. I'm not gonna get over this. That draw, the rumble, the levels. Divorce. It's natural. Her swag is so natural. We're still not allowed to see her eyes. The two, or oh, apparently she's sweeter with it. Which is interesting, they're showing different styles as, uh, like, like their swag, their, their class, their kind of um, attraction. Uh, they, the, the first three were a lot more bold in your face and at least the two that have come in are a lot more subtle with it. This one on the left particularly, she's a lot more like uh, delicate. She's a lot softer, delicate with it and yeah, that's kind of showing like it doesn't matter what your personality is like, what your style is like, you still have the ability to boast, which I I feel, I don't know, I can't remember in the lyrics whether this is uh, inspiring about, or, or like it's talking about others as well, like inciting others to be inspired, but I'm getting that from their presentation when it comes to the, the dance. Anyway, that's what I'm getting. Like if you wanna sit I can't believe I'm gonna see, am I gonna see this live? Oh, they have to do this. again also th like the after the chorus the first one that came was again much more bold like the first girl we got and then this girl is doing the subtle movements with the dance crew all around her barely moving like the second girl we got it i, I just i i can't believe i might see this Barely moving her face. If you wanna sit down, still be like that. My mom is so bad. Oh my god, she doesn't have to dance for you. That's what it is. She doesn't have to dance for us, for our entertainment. She dances when she wants to. Okay, I show you what's in my back. Is that a statement? To like the industry that like dancing and entertaining for people's pleasure and it's like no I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna do it when I want to do it and when like I feel it is that a statement it has to be The expression of the pink girl with pink hair. Oh my gosh. Look at the way she's looking at us. Like, she's so done with us. <laughs> I feel like I'm supposed to apologize to her. The way she's looking at me. Ooh. This is gonna be angry. God. Heavy guitars. I've been walking up in different Ooh. places. Oh, I love her. Take a look around at this place. Yeah, she had to pretend because there were so many lies around. Wow. 
so so many it's not internal lies it's external so many people lying about her so many people just like there's an atmosphere of lying and so she's like having to ignore it almost feels like having to ignore bad behavior just because she's supposed to like smile and pretend like it's okay but it's not okay <laughs> Wow, powerful. Feel like I'm supposed to clap. Ooh. Wow. Tomboy and Password. That's her ticket in. <laughs> is, is this like the background to Tomboy? Like why is she actually why they wrote Tomboy? <laughs> it's interesting because the other ones didn't uh the other two like uh, lyrical parts didn't actually feel like it was n necessarily about a relationship but Soyeon clearly is that is like this is about a relationship someone hurt her someone did her wrong this whole tomboy passport that uh, that is who she is and the whole kind of messaging of tomboy you can go back to my reaction of it and what I thought and of the messaging and interpretation and all that kind of stuff because I can't get into it there's far too much going on in that um but yeah that that's her passport but talking about your mom and things like that that's really specific like that feels personal Long like her. He left her for someone. That's long. This is too personal. Like I don't know. I need to study it. The, the, um, the drums at that point felt like a full stop. It's like, um, I don't care what you say to me, I don't want to do this anymore. And like the drums are kind of sealing it. Like, you know how you would do a full stop? This sentence is complete. It feels like that's what they're doing. That um, I don't want to do this anymore. Definitely, definitely we're not doing this anymore. It's done. <laughs> Right, but do they produce? Because this song is beautiful. I am high price like a diamond shine. Why you think that I'm a piece of voice is so pretty. Go to hell, baby. Was it do I am high price like a diamond shine. Why you think that I'm a piece of glass? Bring my heart. Oh my gosh, who disrespected them? like vocalization harmony at the end when they like say the statement and then it's like ah, you know all that all of that kind of stuff it, it, it's very like um it's like the girls reinforcing what their friend is saying like there's a community and maybe also us like that's our part to if we identify with this that you know we can can join in as well it's like a it's like a different type of call and response it's really interesting Oh, 
Wow. Ah. Oh. No, I I really like their melodies of songs. Dum D. Dum D. Okay, let's get some soups. All right. Oh gosh, do we have a story? <laughs> when the sun strikes the heart of the desert, six wandering souls come across each other. An outdated motel where human vestiges are barely traceable. There is a special life story. It's like a movie. Life story behind each soul and together they end up spending the most burningly compelling day of their lives. This is rich as well, like in terms of uh like the adjectives that they're using like it's very rich they're not like they're really trying to bring us into this world which is interesting because it's all desolate but their use of adjectives is to bring you and that actually there's something like really rich and amazing that's going to happen here uh okay so like the place is deserted there's no kind of signs of humans and uh six people that are wandering in different ways so they have six different issues um and they find something with each other oh it's like american kind of is this 40s beautiful oh this is the girl that hasn't been around I really liked in the lion I'm glad I want to see more of her welcome young lady the way she was looking at the girl I'm loving the undertones of this. It feels very country and I actually, I kind of grew up on country music. My dad is so into country music, but I'm all about it. That's why I like um, voices that kind of uh, draw words out. They're a bit kind of tangy. I love all of that. The Southern draws. gosh the time that they're taking to express this storyline this is what I love about them they have they put effort into it there's depth oh she shows up and shakes everything up and of course it's her accentuating their uh, curves like they're still small girls like as if you know in like other kind of idol groups they're all like small um, but they are their clothes are, are designed to accentuate their curves a lot more than um, you know sometimes it's just like straight 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 but this is much more like no like I, I guess uh, that's their view of what women, uh, female beauty and be as well which is I, I i like that they're kind of showing showing different sides to what we might often see Oh, nice! 
drums and whistles. He has no idea what happened. Nice! The isolation of the whistle. Wait, wait, go back. Oh, the, the music. The music, music, like they're all very different, different characters, different uh, stories, all that kind of stuff, different interests, but music breaks the barrier between them. And also music is also breaking the barrier between us and them is, I feel like what she's trying to say here. Using the kick and snare. Nice, nice. No, they, they, Produce good songs. Oh, I like her. Will she come back? Bond like as a group. This is so gonna be one of my songs. So gonna be one of my songs, especially because it's getting to summer now. Oh, they are diverse. <laughs> oh, they're so diverse. <laughs> oh, we got like fun, bright summer song, like cute, um, just vibrant and fun. Uh, and then we're getting like grunge. Like this empty warehouse that's unkept. The tights that are ripped and unkept. Her tone is beautiful though. No, I need lyrics. I need lyrics. I don't want to cross out of this, but I know I need lyrics. Okay. Oh, guys. Guys, I feel like I need to just do like a video of them without their visuals and everything else, but just looking at their lyrics because 
it's so po poetic even this like both of my eyes spreading like smoky i was like oh, what what's that but it's the imagery of smoke spreading and their eyes it's their tears isn't it like them them crying and then this whole like what's wrong or cursing in a in a pretty mouth um i'm always nasty it just feels like uh, oh, and the last lent, uh, sentence about being a stupid angel until the end it feels like they're saying that they've been put through a lot in this relationship and the person just wants them to continue to take it and when they maybe gaslighting or something like that when it's like you get angry and you um start kind of displaying like behavior that they consider crazy and they're like oh you shouldn't be doing that um you know you're like it's a pretty mouth you shouldn't be doing that you should be confined and you should uh, act like an angel and this that and the other and it's like no but they've clearly gone through a lot because this whole you broke my heart you locked my love they've been through a lot of turmoil and it sounds like it took them a very long time to actually get to a point where they can say i'm not crazy and i'm leaving I'm actually not crazy and this is who I am and then this part as well about uh, let me put on my uh, I'm I'm tearing up let me um, I'm not okay at all let me put on my leather jacket it's like that leather jacket is the defense mechanism of like to try and stop themselves from crying or feeling too vulnerable they then put on that leather jacket and that makes them feel powerful and that gives them the strength to to continue on okay there's so much more but let me know if i should do like a live stream where we just look at lyrics <laughs> look at their lyrics listen to their songs uh different songs that they have and just kind of uh just get into it because it, it just it feels rich and beautiful and expressive and you don't get it straight away you have to really think about it even in our discord server um you can join up with the link below uh, i think after i did the tomboy reaction we were like dissecting the tomboy lyrics and going into it because it's so rich and it's helpful to kind of hear different people's version of what they think the meaning is Wow, it's just high. She's very talented. She's so talented. I was I was shocked at the beginning when I first saw them how much uh, focus is on her, but there's a reason. Is and you, you guys were saying that she writes a lot of their songs. She and she does she produce? I know you said she writes. Uh, so there's a reason why there's so much focus on her and you know I kind of got thinking oh okay yeah like she's stunning and uh, she's very good when it comes to her her delivery uh, it's interesting her delivery uh, and it's different some like sometimes I find that her um, style choices of her rap in some parts or some songs I don't like but it's not because she's like bad she just you know she, she I think she changes up styles um, and she like changes up what she feels like doing and some are like very enjoyable to me and some just aren't as enjoyable to me uh, like mix and match but she's just super super talented so talented that it's kind of just like a bit it's a bit wow to actually watch They're strong, they're like vocally strong. Oh, and they've got their queen at the back. I thought we're getting a cute moment, not screw you. <laughs>
Emma. And that was very like mocking as well at the end. Like the way she's singing that, like mocking the person they're singing to. What is it? Curved red lips. Oh, and the smoky you hated. Oh, no, it's this part. It's interesting this part that they're talking about um, it feels as if the person did a lot of things to keep them I like to make them act in a certain way. So um, clearly they lost their mind. So that means they can't be themselves and maybe even question, uh, the person is questioning why they say or think or do things in a certain way. And then um, the spilled coffee, the curved red lip, the smoky that you hated, like that's um, aesthetic. So uh, the person also criticizing the way that they look and the things that they're wearing. And they talk about the leather jacket. They've obviously come out in like punk and punk is, uh, like rebellion uh, like you know that's kind of how uh, the punk movement came about uh, in just being fully rebellious and uh, rebelling against uh, like government structures parents and just uh, societal norms of what you should and shouldn't do in a very kind of overt way so it's interesting they're using that to rebel against what the person in the relationship has made them like do and it's kind of like tomboy as well like i want i want to see the full album now because it all feels like it's linked and it's all talking about that same sort of thing but it's interesting because in this part it's like reminding the person of the things that you didn't want me to do so she slowed it down so you have to listen to it and you have to have to listen to it slowly and take it all in all the things that you or some of the things that you told me not to do that weren't befitting for me i am gonna tell you about it and i'm gonna do it and i don't care and that's the last word oh i love them i love them yes 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 i cannot believe i'm gonna see them in like three weeks live and what they're going to do if you have an idea of what they might perform live let me know uh, if you want to meet up and hang out let me know as well i'll put the form below see you later bye